I was in the occult section of Bodhi Tree one day, and I was just looking at the books because I would go in there and spend hours in Bodhi Tree. This was the spirit, the, the neighborhood spiritual bookstore in LA. And I loved I got it. this book called Journey of Souls. It talks about the literal journey of what happens from the moment your body drops to the moment you incarnate in a new body. And I was like, this is fantastic. It resonates. It rings true. Although I haven't had a, a near-death experience, this is what I really feel could happen. And a part of that experience is the um, the life review, where you go back and you replay all of the different scenarios and the situations and the arguments and the this and the that, and you look at it from both sides. So I, I would like for you to just talk a little more about that, since you've actually had that experience. Yes. And how does that inform? Because I know you just hinted at it now, but I'm thinking for the listener who could be, you know, just ignorant of how this whole thing really works. How does that, inf how could that inform one as they're hearing this conversation and then moving on into the rest of their life from here? What, what, what wisdom can they take from knowing that that is a possible experience that one could have? So, you know, I look at the, li the life in review, not as a form of punishment or a form of look at what you did, because a lot mm -hmm. of times people like to stay in that very dualistic place of, um, you know, what is right and what is wrong. But in the universe, we look at things very differently in the sense of the non-judgment um, factor, which is that you're an eternal being. Everything is eternal. So even... Um, a flower dying is eternal. It's just going to take another form in another dimension, right? And so everything you see that leaves our world, even if someone is murdered, right, they're eternal. So they're going to just take another form in another world. So those spirits don't put emphasis on the way that humans do when it comes to attachment. So the understanding of seeing the life in review is more about how you weave energy into this universe as a creator. So the characteristic of the energy that you weave is the energy that you weave for the for the expansion of the universe or is the energy that you weave to um, to uh, shadow the universe with fear and lack and limitation and all these different things and why you chose to make those choices as a creator. If you like that video, you're going to love the next one. Click this thumbnail right here and I'll see you over there.